Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see the two bit dynamic branch prediction. In the previous video, I explained about one bit dynamic branch prediction. So why we are going for the two bit dynamic branch prediction? Because the it is going to give it gives it gives ninety percent accuracy accuracy since a prediction must be wrong twice before the prediction bit is changed let me write that point i'll explain what exactly it means since a prediction must be wrong must be wrong twice before the prediction bit is changed before the prediction bit is changed okay so i already explained that prediction is nothing but it is a guess so a static and dynamic are there and the uh, in the dynamic i am explaining about uh, in the previous video i explained about one bit uh, dynamic branch prediction in the one bit dynamic branch prediction i'll explain it in clearly it's a two bit let's take a what is the main difference between these two one bit dynamic prediction after one wrong after one wrong prediction after one wrong prediction what is happening okay the prediction bit is going to be inverted the prediction bit whatever the prediction bit is there that is going to be inverted only after only one wrong but whereas in the two bit dynamic branch prediction after two wrong after two wrong predictions then only the prediction bit is going to be inverted bit is inverted that is two wrong here one wrong and the two wrong so that is the meaning of this it is giving 90 percent accuracy why because the prediction must be wrong twice before the prediction bit is changed the prediction is suppose it is a wrong it is going to think twice before it is going to be changed so so that it the accuracy is going to be increased so the dynamic branch prediction depends on the past behavior of branches remember this point it always depends upon the past behavior of branches whereas in the uh, static uh, branch prediction it is not depends upon the historical trends but whereas the dynamic branch prediction is depends upon the past behavior okay so what will be the disadvantage in one bit dynamic branch prediction if we mispredict once about the branch suppose in one bit if we mispredict once about the branch we change our mind instantly about the next prediction instantly we are trying to change okay non taken is taken which is wrong let me take it's taken but still if it is not taken is taken only one prediction one wrong prediction instantly we are changing the mind but it may not good it may not good it may not good that is one bit prediction the one bit prediction it may not be good okay so therefore we are using two bit branch prediction instead the idea is the idea of two bit is that we have to miss predict twice in a row before changing your mind before changing our mind so let's try think twice that is what i hear the concept is two bit dynamic branch prediction means let's think twice okay so finally in two bit prediction what do you understand invert the prediction bit only if two predictions are wrong invert the bit only if two predictions are wrong let's take the same example whatever i have taken in the previous video students uh, this for the static i'm taking the same for loop for i is equal to zero i less than three i plus plus okay uh, and for j is equal to zero j less than four and the j plus plus okay so this is what the for loop here i have taken what will be the branch outcome first of all let me write the branch outcome 
let's start with the historical data first let's take the output what will be the exact branch outcome branch outcome or our expected output whatever the here we are having expected output okay so the expected output here is uh, suppose it starts with i is equal to 0 what will be the j value j value 0 enter into the 1 2 3 4 so the 4 is less than 4 the wrong prediction so again came out of the loop i is equal to 1 this time j 0 1 2 3 4 again i is equal to 2 0 1 2 3 4 like that it is going on for i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 4 it is going to be checked okay so what will be the outcome when j is equal to 0 what it has to be taken branch has to be take because condition is true 0 less than 4 true take the branch when 1 1 less than 4 take the branch 2 less than 4 take the branch 3 less than 4 take the branch 4 less than 4 the condition is false don't take the branch not taken the branch so again come out of the loop take the branch take the branch take the branch not take the branch take the branch take the branch take the branch not take the branch this is exactly what branch outcome then what will be the hardware prediction if branch history table whatever the branch history table is contains zero initially contains zero initially so what do you mean by this zero zero means it's nothing but non taken that is what you know that zero means non taken and one means taken okay so zero is initially that is a hardware prediction now let's say see the hardware prediction this is a branch outcome and this is a hardware prediction. So, when j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, again it's going on. Okay. So, starts with non-prediction. So, that is non-taken. Always hardware prediction is so not always. It's based on the user condition. So, I started the hardware branch prediction that is starts with i don't want to take the branch let's go in the sequence okay whenever i go in a sequence what happened the next bit is taken that is a wrong prediction even though it's a one bit is a wrong prediction i don't want to change my mind why because i want to check the two bits that is what two bit branch prediction okay i only proceed with non-taken only okay so even though if i not taken a non taken the outcome has to be taken only still it is showing the outcome has to be taken that means after two assumptions still it is wrong okay so after two assumption still it is showing it is a i have to take the branch i i consider it is a non taken two wrong predictions are there but third bit also it is saying that you have to take the branch still you are saying that you are not taking the branch. that is two wrong assumption okay still it is uh, wrong then the bit is going to be inverted okay two bit prediction two bits wrong then invert the bit invert the bit so what you are going to be inverted you are making three two t let me write okay i'm going to change it to t okay t t wrong prediction here non taken is there and this is taken is there okay but i don't want to change it to non taken because i don't this is a two bit prediction so let's continue check with the next bit also even though it is a wrong prediction i don't want to change my bit i just still take make it as a t only okay but in this this is t and this is t so my assumption is true only both are taken only so let's proceed don't change your mind taken taken so here this is non taken and this is taken don't change your mind try to work with another also so here i am not changing i am not inverting my bit because this is a two bit prediction let's check two bits if the two bits are wrong then only try to invert the predicted bit so true only okay so that is taken only so taken okay taken 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 wrong prediction because this is non taken don't change the bit check with the next thing it will be the taken only so this is the hardware implementation okay 
So what you are observed? So when compared to one bit predictions, here the number of predictions are going means uh, uh, the stalls are going to be less. Okay. So total how many? Suppose if I take the five loops, one, two, three, four, five. So in the five, uh, six, seven total five bit predictions. So the five predictions are five are wrong here. One, two, three, four, five. Suppose the five cycles are wrong. Okay, and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 cycles are wrong here. For this example, I am talking about these examples. Total 7 clock cycles are having the stalls. Okay, suppose, suppose if you run this example, so if you run this loop for 10 times, that is what in the previous example I had taken. So, the nested loop structure, each loop 10 times repeats. I am talking about each loop 10 times repeat. If each loop is 10 times repeat in the 2-bit predictions, how many miss in the 2-bit predictor, how many miss predictions are there? How many miss predictions are there? Actually, these are 10 cycles, right? So, here... 10 mispredictions are there if you consider the branch outcome if you consider the branch outcome only 10 miss uh, predictions are there so here also 10 and starting 2 non prediction 10 plus the starting 2 total 12 total 12 mispredictions are there but whereas in one bit whereas in one bit prediction how many mispredictors are there if you take each loop 10 times you will get 20 mispredictions. That is the main difference here. Did you reduce the stalls or not? If you use it, if you go with the 2-bit prediction, you reduce the stalls. In 2-bit branch prediction, you get only 12 stalls. And whereas in the 1-bit branch prediction, you got 20 mispredictions are there. Okay. So, let me take a, a diagram for this by considering this. Okay. So, I am just considering this, this is the for loop. Let me take this for loop. Uh, the points I have to be remembered here are like uh, mm, SLT means SLT, strong, lightly, strong, lightly to be taken. Strong, lightly to be taken. Okay. LT means likely to be taken likely likely to be taken and what about the nlt nlt means non likely to be taken non likely to be taken and next snlt means snlt means strong not likely to be taken so remember these words Strong, likely to be taken, like to be taken, non like to be taken, strong, non like to be taken. Remember these points. Now, let's have a look on that a diagram. So, how to construct the 2-bit branch predictions? It's a diagram. So, let me take S, L, T. Okay, I'm just taking likely to be taken non likely to be taken strong non likely to be taken okay so now let's draw the diagram suppose this is a two bit prediction students remember this is a two bit i starts with strong likely to be taken i want to take it okay i want to take it so let's what's let's take take the branch strong likely to be taken so take it but whatever the outcome that is there, so the outcome is not taken. The outcome, whatever it is there, this outcome is not taken. But I have taken it. This is a wrong prediction. So, one wrong prediction is there. One wrong prediction. I don't want to change the mind. So, still I mean likely to be taken. Because one only one wrong prediction is there. I don't want to change my mind. So, only one not take uh, wrong prediction not taken. So, I... Change my mind as likely to be taken. So, still I don't want to take, not taken. 
two wrong predictions two wrong predictions not taken okay two wrong predictions so whenever the two wrong predictions are there so this is not taken and this is not taken so the two wrong predictions are there okay not taken you are try let me tell you you are trying to take it strongly like to taken but it is asking not to take your outcome is saying not to take okay you are still in likely to be taken your outcome is saying not to take but still you are uh, now you get a solution okay not to take because not to take is an outcome okay so proceed with not to take only now you have taken it is a not to take okay now you are getting as a strong not like to be taken i am now i am not to be taken okay so you want to be taken it t okay so but the outcome is should be nt but still you have taken t outcome is t okay you are still uh, it has to be nt so change it to nt only t only not taken not taken okay so now you are in a strong not like to be taken so continue with this continue with not taken only so whenever you are continue with not taken whenever you are continue with non taken the outcome is saying you have to take you have to take so my opinion is somewhat changes to not like to be taken still it is saying the another time still it is saying take okay it is saying take so my not like to be taken mind will be changed to lightly taken okay like to be taken now i change my complete mind by taking the branch that is strong like to be taken this is what happening here two wrong predictions i once again i explain students starts with the strong like to be taken i want to take the branch so i had started taking the branch started taking the branch but it is showing that you don't want to take the branch okay means i had wrong predicted even though i wrong predicted i am trying to take the branch lightly taken the branch that is also it is still saying not to take the branch okay now i decided i don't want to take the branch because two wrong predictions are there whenever the two wrong predictions are there my mind is changed to like to be taken is changed to non like to be changes so whenever my mind is completely changed with non like to be taken okay now i don't want to take it i decided strong not like to be taken i don't want to take because two wrong predictions are there i don't want to be taken so continue with not taken only but at some point it is asking to take but i am at a state of not taken it is a strong not taken but it is asking to take okay let me check one more prediction i am still in non taken mood only okay still it is asking to take the branch two times wrong prediction whenever the two times wrong prediction is there my not like to taken is mind is changed to taken okay now i am going to take so take the branch okay now this is strong like to be taken loop it this is what about the two bit dynamic branch predictions i hope you get complete clarity on what exactly this two bit dynamic branch predictions is okay still if you are facing any doubt please let me know i'll take one more example to explain this topic thank you